on this week's In Case You Missed It. Powerful morning in Goldsboro at Greenleaf Christian Church with Bishop Barber and his congregation. First of all, just a wonderful morning of worship. Then a conversation led by the Poor People's Campaign about how we can make sure that poverty is front and center in this presidential election. My word to you is the same word that the Lord gave them. We're here at the Fair Deal Grocery having a conversation about health equity. The ability for Mayor Pete to come here and have this fully engaging, authentic conversation with community members speaks to, to me his intentionality about ensuring that the messages that he's sharing, the platforms that he's crafting, are rooted in the lived experiences of the most disenfranchised communities that are out there. Pete, all right, welcome. Welcome to South Carolina. Thrilled to be here. So again, this house was built in 1940 by my grandfather. B9, everybody. <laughs> o64. Aha. Uh -huh. And free. G56. You're going too fast for me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't just talk now. No, we'll count on. Let your talk do right. your work. Action speak louder, right? That's right. That's right. Because see, we getting a lot of talk. Oh yeah. No yeah. action. Especially right now. Right. Yeah. I wasn't quite as quick as Miss Peoples on the bingo balls, but I think I, I got there in the end. Uh, great conversations and uh, really nice folks in there. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. <laughs> doing it in a way that can bring the country together. We are so divided right now. How did the idea come to you? Well, I've always had a desire to cook. You know, I mean, I always love to cook. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, big part of healthcare is food. Yeah, that's, and that's what I tell people. I said, man, the, the less money you spend in food, the more, more money you'll spend in healthcare. So you buy, you, exactly. I mean, I know you don't want to say it, but you buy fast food all the yeah. time. Right. You're only really in spending the same money. So I, I say, I'd rather have a $500 steak <laughs> and not go to the hospital. <laughs> I think one thing that's not really being shown uh, is his connection, his passion uh, for all parts of our community, whether it's African American, whether it's Latino. So getting this um, small group together so you can kind of learn uh, what I already know. Uh, and that's how Pete has a heart for the people in all our communities. We are failing our children. The gap, the education system is going to dumb down these children. Right. And it is the system. Right. It's horrific. Having married a teacher, I, I get an education about education whenever I come home. And I, I trust teachers to, to lead on what is best for their kids. And we've got to build up that trust. It's going to take a different kind of leadership to fix what is broken in our education systems, make sure every child has access to support and education from birth, and make sure we're doing it in a way that supports teachers as well as families. I'm proposing that we invest a total of over a trillion dollars in early education, great K through 12 schools, and wraparound services to support students, whether they are inside the school building or not. 